sin blinds the eyes and mind of men to the consequences of sin. No one will know the consequences of misbehavior and will stay with it. A man called Samuel said in 4 Samuel 12, I mean, 12, 13, 12 3, he said, um, Behold, here I am, witness against me before the Lord and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose curse have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Of whose hand have I received a bribe to blind my eyes therewith? So same blinds the eyes of men to the reality of the consequences thereof. Can't see. Is a mind blinder. Sin is an eye blinder. It won't let you see the consequences. It will just paint to you the picture of the pleasure. He won't show you this can lead to the prison. He won't do it. If you believe in the reality of the consequences, it will warn you forever. Will keep you off it forever. Now listen. If Eka knew that what he did would lead to the destruction of his entire family line, will he ever do it? He won't let him see it. Take it, take it. Some of the other people are taking it. Take it. He said, where are the other people? All of them, all of them. Take it. He took it and destroyed his entire lineage. He couldn't see it. Joshua chapter 7, you are conversant with that. Same blinds the eyes of his victim from seeing the consequences of their actions. And then Gehazi. He went after Naaman. If he knew that leprosy would be the outcome, he would never. One billion demons can't move him to do it. That are becoming a leper, a potential post Elijah anointing career. No, not me. He thought he was smart. Elisha, I mean, Gazi, we are coming down from. Thy servant goes nowhere. I was just attending to people, protocol services. And suddenly, destiny crashed. It didn't allow him to see that his destiny was headed for a crash. Sin blinds the eyes of his victim from saying the consequences of their actions. And then we have something. Now listen, somebody said they are coming to uh, fight you. Just tell me where your power is. Nothing is. All they want from you. I am yours forever. You know, tell me where your power is. And then they actually came. The eyes were blinded, sir. No. The eyes were dead, not blinded. If they buy me this way, I'll lose my power. And they came. And you threw them off. And you are still there. Dead eyes. And say, okay, okay. It's as she pressed him forced him, vexed his soul. He said, well, mm, I don't want to tell anybody. Tell me now, I love you. No, I can't say it. My God, what do you want me to do for you that I can't do? Have you ever asked me anything in my life? I didn't do it. I won't say it. Say it now. Ah, yeah, man. You see, if they shave the locks of my ears, 
I sent to the God. Hey, hey, that's what I'm saying now. What have I now done to you? Have I done anything to you? I made them to sleep on her knees. She slept so bad that they were shaving him. He didn't wake up. If he knew it would become a toy in the hand of the Philistines, he would never do it. You know, don't mind. Your power is not in your ear. It's in your muscles. 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 So he broke the covenant and he became a toy. The spirit left him. Vigor, vitality left him. And then, bring a knife. They ripped his eyes without anesthesia. Stupid man. Now, show your strength. Boom! Show your strength. He never knew he would be reduced to a mockery. If he knew, he would never do it. I therefore decree every form of satanic blindness to the consequence of sin be destroyed in everyone's life. Jesus gave them the bread and their eyes were opened. Every eye going blind will be restored tonight. Let me hear your loudest amen. Judas ended up with suicide. If he knew, because he was a last speculator. Every money he stole from Jesus' post, he was buying land and buying land. He was very used to them. When the master is taking a nap, he goes to town briefly. Uh, where are you coming from? To give something to the poor. <laughs> he was the accountant, he was the auditor, he was the treasurer. Account was always balanced. Jesus knew he was a thief, but he wouldn't tell them. If he told them, Peter would kill him. You know Peter? He has a sword by his side. Amen. He only confided in John, the beloved. You know what, why he said that? He's a thief. He has the bag. John, don't tell them who. He steals money there every day. He has land speculators in town who help him to buy land. He has plenty of land. Though. And then suddenly he committed suicide. He never knew. Satan entered him. He gave room to Satan. And he threw the money out. Look, take your money. They say, see to it yourself. Money, we have paid. Project executed. That you throw money off. He never knew we will become a son of perdition. Otherwise, he won't do it. Somebody's eyes just opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sin blinds the eyes of his victims to the consequences of their actions. And so they just keep at it. Pride, arrogance. They just keep it at it and they start cutting them down on daily basis. Cutting down, cutting down, cutting down. They don't exist anymore. 